creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Opening sun with golden beam, on silver moon with softer gleam. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let's be with the Lord today and allow him to offer us consolation in the midst of our own sorrow and tears, which we will hear even come from the eyes of our Savior. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have Christ. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had writing on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed many tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and the elders a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living, living creatures and 24 elders fell down before the Lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the Holy Ones. They sang a new hymn. Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals, for you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God those from every tribe and tongue, people and nation. You made them a kingdom and priests for our God, and they will reign on. 
on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adores, adorns the lowly with victory. The, the Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lamb Lord has made us the kingdom of priests to serve our God. against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Senior Jerry and I were speaking yesterday about this gospel and what it reminds us of in the Holy Land is an amazing church overlooking the Kidron Valley, overlooking the city of Jerusalem. And the church is called Dominus Flevit, the Lord wept. And architecturally, the actual church itself is in the shape of a tear amazing Italian architect we were referring to who built many of the, <clears throat> the, the contemporary uh, shrines uh, marking our Lord's life, death, and resurrection. This is the Gospel of Luke that we heard this in today, but in, in one of the scriptures, I think it's Matthew's Gospel, it's the shortest sentence in the New Testament. The Lord wept, period. Today we hear it in the greater context. Jesus drew near Jerusalem. He saw the city and wept over it, saying, But the Lord wept. Now why is that important for us? Because we weep over the death of loved ones, 
over the tragedies going on in our world, over difficulties in our lives, spiritually, financially, emotionally. Jesus looked upon the people that he loved, looked over Jerusalem, and they were a mess. And he wept. Which means two things for us. Jesus understands our tears. When we weep, we are not alone. Our Lord himself has wept like us. And so he's with us. He's united with us. And that then gives meaning. So don't be afraid to show emotion. Don't be afraid at times to cry. Our Lord himself wept. And secondly, it shows us the beautiful humanity. Jesus is fully human, fully divine. But to be fully human means he experiences all of our emotions. He gets us, as we would say in common parlance. He understands us. So let's unite our hearts, at times broken, weeping, sorrowful, agonizing, as we look at our world today, physically, politically, naturally, every level. <laughs> it's a mess. But the Lord is with us. And he wants us to weep with him and to unite our hearts with him so that he may dry our tears, that he may console us. He tells us in the Beatitudes, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be consoled. Trusting in the Father's care for us, let us offer our prayers and petitions. For our Catholic Church, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For lasting peace among all peoples of the world, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For reconciliation among all Christian churches, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the suffering, the sick, especially those on our prayer list, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the eternal rest of our beloved dead, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we turn to you, your children, and we cry out with confidence that you will hear and answer and heal our broken hearts. For we offer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, the good of 
all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should always give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you do not cease to spur us on to possess a more abundant life and being rich in mercy. You constantly offer pardon and call on sinners to trust in your forgiveness alone. Never did you turn away from us. And though time and again we have broken your covenant, you have bound the human family to yourself through Jesus, your Son, our Redeemer, with a new bond of love so tight that it can never be undone. Even now you set before your people a time of grace and reconciliation. And as they turn back to you in spirit, you grant them hope in Christ Jesus and a desire to be of service to all while they entrust themselves more fully to the Holy Spirit. And so filled with wonder, we extol the power of your love and proclaiming our joy at the salvation that comes from you we join in the heavenly hymn of countless hosts, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offering and pour out on them the power of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though once we were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love, for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, to become the everlasting, the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles you to the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of the one bread and the one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanks of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the earth, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thanks for tuning in today. Have a blessed day. Uh, one week from today is Turkey Day, so let's begin already to count our blessings. A grateful heart is a joyful, peaceful heart, a happy heart. So let's think as we prepare now a week from today to celebrate Thanksgiving, the many things we have to be grateful for. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.